Madam President. Senator from Nebraska. Thank you very much. We have a humanitarian and national security crisis at our southern border. Just last month, Customs and Border Protection encountered 241,000 contacts of people coming across that southern border. That is three times the amount that we had in October of 2020. Since Joe Biden's been president, there have been 6.6 .6 million border contacts and 1.8 million gotaways. And the gotaways, those are the folks that Customs and Border Protection, CBP, saw but couldn't encounter, couldn't get to. That is more than President Obama and President Trump's administration combined. Children are being trafficked. People are dying. And the cartels are profiting. And my colleague from Iowa just referenced the southern border. Total, we've seen 172 people on the terrorist watch list try to enter our country in the last year. 169 at the southern border. And to put that in perspective, that number used to be in the single digits every year. Last month, it was 12. We're encountering more people on the FBI's terrorist watch list in one month than we used to get in an entire year. Border security is national security. Certainly, the events in Israel should bring home to us the danger of a border that is not properly protected. And it is President Biden's policies that have led to this humanitarian and security crisis. Now, I've been down to the southern border four times, just uh, recently as well. And I've talked to the folks at the CBP, and yes, they need some resources. Uh, things like the aerostat blips have been hugely successful in being able to counter the cartel's drones and to monitor people trying to come across the border. So there are resources that we can provide to our southern border to help strengthen it. But you know what the number one thing they told me they needed? Was a change in policy. Because it's the policy that is driving all these people to take this dangerous journey to illegally cross into our country. Well, now the Senate is going to take up border security. And President Biden's solution is to ask for more money to help process all the people coming across the border. That's not going to fly. If you are just processing them more efficiently coming across the border, you're not deterring anybody from coming across our border. It's the policies that are sending the message to people to come here illegally. The policy needs to change. So as we consider a bill, perhaps a supplemental bill, where we're going to have border security in it, it must contain policy changes. The policy is what's caused us. We have to change the policy. But what are some of those policies? We see that we have an asylum system and a parole system that's broken. We need to address that. And then we must have a first safe country policy. You may say, what's a first safe country? Well, if you're seeking asylum, you're fleeing your home country, what this policy says is you stop in the first safe country and you apply for asylum in the United States from there, not within our own country. And I know that there are people who don't like this idea. But let me tell you, Canada has this policy. So for example, if you're traveling from Mexico through the United States to get to Canada, and you want to seek asylum in Canada, you have to remain in the United States. That's their policy. That's the Canadian's policy. Oh, you know who else has that policy? The United Kingdom. In fact, I've got a chart right here with all the countries that have that policy. Italy, France, Spain, Germany, 
Ireland. In fact, not only does our northern neighbor have this policy, but 29 other countries have this policy that you have to remain in the first safe country. What does that mean? That if you're coming to our southern border, you must remain in Mexico. And that is part of the policy changes that we need to have. We must bring back remain in Mexico. President Biden has direct responsibility for the humanitarian crisis at our southern border. Children are being trafficked. People are dying, and the cartels are profiting off of all of this. He is responsible. If he's not going to act, we in the Senate must act. My Republican colleagues and I have put forward common sense solutions on how to address the issues at our southern border. We must have these policy changes if we are going to pass any sort of supplemental that is going to include additional funding for anything else. The number one issue we have here is addressing the humanitarian and national security crisis. That is the priority for the American people. It is a priority for my Republican colleagues and my Senate Democrat colleagues must make that their priority as well. Thank you very much, Madam President.